Hi, this is SM7i for SM7i projects. Apart from being a ham radio operator and a security engineer, I'm also into 8-bit computers, such as the Commodore 128, also known as C128, and this is what we got here. The music you hear and the screen you see is from the demo recent from Oblivion. And you can also hear the music. It's a plain passive speaker that's been uh, coupled by uh, whatever operation amp I could find in my uh, junk box. Let's have a look at the uh, heavily modified C128. This is a plane C128. As you can see, it's uh, modified quite hardly. If we start over here, we have the uh, SD2 IEC with its LED and the disk swap uh, button. We have an RS232 interface. And of course, we have a GFI DOS. And also we have a um, turbo assembler down here, which is activated on the C128 by uh, holding control while booting. This is the GPDOS switch. And as you can see, I'm running uh, Risen from Oblivion with full colors which only is possible if you have a 64k of VDC and the 64k VDC is under the RF shielding and apparently it works from here you can see the uh, connector to my passive speaker and this is then routed to an uh, op amp just an uh, LF 351 whatever I could find in my my uh, junk box well how do I get the picture well as you all know the C128 puts out uh, RGBI is a TTL digital video and uh, for that I'm using a GBS 8200 JAMA board but one does not simply put in the uh, TTL levels of the C128 into the JAMA board. You need to uh, do something about the sync. And this little PCB here is the uh, sync logic for the um, JAMA board between the RGBI port and the JAMA board. So that is how you um, will get SVGA out in uh, C128 80 column mode. For the 40 column mode and 64 mode I have a plain SVDU to SVGA converter connected just to the plain RGB port. What you don't see here is the uh, noise mod and a noise modification which is done underneath the motherboard and as you all can see I have removed for obvious reasons the uh, big RF shielding over the motherboard because it simply does not fit with my modifications so I put vanilla uh, coolers on uh, some chips including the CPUs and as you can see it just works fine it looks horrible but it works fine and the most funny part is that everything fits inside so no suspicious view from the outside when everything is mounted so it's possible Thank you, that's all from SM7i, have a nice day, bye bye.